so you're going to be here, and then for the other one, you're going to be here, so you can actually see the movement occurring. You get her to bend her head slowly forward for me. Okay. Uh, record those two scores there, and record them on the computer. Reflection, and then we would go into the extension. I would reset myself to zero again, come into extension for me. Great. Perfect. I would record my scores inside, and I would come over here, I would do the side flexion. Up on top, I'd set my um, inclinometers to zero, and off to the left hand side first. Excellent. And then to the right hand side. Perfect. The common method is to use a sconiometer. Okay. In which case, I'm going to take the goniometer here, I'm going to pick a landmark so that I have my original landmark and the bottom one here is going to be pointing at the original landmark and then I'll get her to rotate off to the left hand side for me so she rotates off to the left I make sure that my original landmark stays in line and then I use this one here and I measure straight down on the nose and then we have our angle I'm measuring it that way for us and then we're going to measure our flexion like this and comes back again and then into extension coming back this way. Okay. Common mistakes people make so much is to hold them like so. So it's a little less awkward for yourself as to actually be sitting down while you're performing uh, this particular movement. So same procedure as before. Give your client the instructions. They're going to have you bend forward as far as you can go. Make sure they understand the instructions coming all the way back and all the way forward. Then we're going to place our inclinometers in place. We're going to do one trial uh, for this uh, um, extension. We do side flexion, so bending off to the left and to the right. Perfect. So. The only other